Hello, everybody. Hey, I got some good news. The new headset was not the problem in the buzzing on my last video. I had laid the wire that goes from the phone to the transmitter right on top of a fluorescent light. That's all it was. So that should go away. Shouldn't have that problem anymore. That's not what this video is about, but I just wanted to share that with you. Hey, I got a couple of battery meters. They check your cells. If you've got... Uh, a bad cell that's a big deviation in your battery pack it's it starts to get unsafe and you, you it's these help you to know when this is going to happen help you avoid fires charge them in your lipo safe all that good stuff but it helps to, to monitor each individual cell so let's take a quick look at these things on the other side of the intro I am not going to get an opportunity to go drive this today, so we're going to set it over here. Um, got a, a little bit of time off coming up next week, so we're going to try to find a better place to run that for everybody. What I've got today is these two little meters. Now, they look pretty much identical other than they are branded different from each other. So we're going to see if there is a difference in them. Get these out of the box. I'll be right back. Now the internal packaging is a little different. We have uh, cardboard, plastic. There's a little piece of paper that goes with this one. And that one is the build power. And this one is a uh, Tenergy. Team Tenergy, 5-in-1 Digital Battery Capacity Checker. And the Tenergy I'll go over that later. Just out of curiosity. I want to see if these two pieces of paper are, are the same. So this shows you all the different modes that it goes through, how to check everything. Same thing on this one, shows you what all it'll do, one through seven cells. All right, so now what we're going to do here, I've got my uh, LiPo alarms, and I need to show you guys for the newer people in RC how these things work one day. But it is an alarm that goes on your vehicle. You can run this on the car, boat, plane, whatever. And you can set the voltage uh, minimum on this. And if the voltage gets too low, these beepers will beep. And they're pretty loud. So I'm going to shut up so I can turn this down. But as you can see, it's incompatible. I'm uh, filming at uh, 30 frames a second. And it does not like that frame rate. I can see it perfectly fine. So, but these are LCD. So these should show up just fine. It's hard to do this through the camera. So there's your total volts. It's already on LiPo. You can toggle through the different kinds of batteries. And there's your LiPo. I'm at 44%. So this has a... Uh, storage charge on it this will show you your individual cells and in this light i'm not uh not seeing this very well but up right above the three is a uh, if i can get the glare off of it it says one s that's so that's that's cell number one there's cell number two three point eight three and your total voltage 3, 3.839, 3.833, so this has got a really good balance charge on it. This is just uh, um, off of one of my uh, high boxing cars, I think. Okay, let's do a quick comparison on these. Check them for consistency. So we're looking at uh, cell 1. And this has a shadow from my little light over here for for me looking at it, uh, 
It's perfectly readable. But with this light up here, it's casting a shadow. All right, let's see if there's any variation from one to the other. Um, and the number up here at the top, the cell count, is in the shadow from the little light that I'm using on my desk. It's perfectly readable without that shadow because the light's coming up from the top. Anyway, there's, there's cell one, cell two, there's the total. And then this shows your, uh, there's 0 0.007, one, or 0.1%, 1 percent rather, of uh, variation from ma minimum to maximum. Shows your maximum cell and your minimum cell. So that's pretty nice. Now, on uh, the team Tenergy, it actually works a little different. If you hit the cell button, it just toggles between cell one and cell two. You have to come over to this button, you get your total voltage, and then you get your maximum and minimum and uh, your percentage. So I actually kind of right off the cuff without playing with them a little bit longer, I kind of like the way this one toggles through the modes better because you can stay in the cell mode and you can see your each individual cell and your maximum and that's not too complicated to move over to the other button so you know and as far as accuracy they're close enough when you get to to the third digit to the right of the decimal it doesn't really make any difference so let's do something with a uh, here's a 3s And see, and then you got to come over here for your total. 11.36, 31% charge. And maximum voltage is on cell 2. And it tells you that up in, in the shadow from my lamp. Minimum is on cell 1. And there's your variation from minimum to maximum. So let's try this one and see what we get on this one. 11.3. So there's your 1, there's 2, there's 3, there's your voltage, and then here's your mode, minimum, maximum, 0 0.007. Again, we're at 1% variation. And maximum is cell 3, minimum is cell 2. So they're consistent enough that I can't really recommend one over the other. Once you figure out the difference in the mode buttons and stuff, I don't think it's going to make any difference. It's not difficult to hit the mode button to get into your, your full range. Let's try a 6S. And these are my uh, RC LiPo batteries that I acquired. My hundred. See, this is the one I ran in the uh, Typhon the other day. So we're looking at, uh, have to get out of the shadow. Cell so one, two, three, four, five, six. And get the mode switch 22.83. Maximum is cell number six. 3.0, I mean, yeah, 3808, and minimum is cell 1 at 3.800, and the variation is uh, 0.009%. So, either one of these is going to be a handy tool to have. Let's try the 6S on this one. Yeah, I I kind of like the way this one works, but it's really not a huge thing. You get used to whichever whichever one you get. It's not a complicated thing to figure out, and uh, they're both with well within the margin of error that I think you'd be happy with either one of these. I'll throw links to them down in the description. And uh, 
these LiPo alarms, we'll go over these things another day. Those are really handy uh, to keep you from killing your batteries because a lot of people will run your car till your, till your LiPo shut off comes on and you get a limp mode to get your car back. This will help you extend the life of your batteries by quite a bit. We'll go over this in another video. That's all I've got today, but I'll throw some other videos up here on the screen. So if you've uh, got a little extra time, I want to look around a little bit. I've got a playlist on the 144001 that's got uh, quite a bit of information in it. Also, the, most of that information applies to the 124018 and the 124019, and I'm going to revisit those cars again pretty soon. So thanks for everybody that's uh, stuck around, and I'll catch you guys down the road. Thank mm -hmm. you.